Welcome everyone. I hope you're having a great day. Today, I am here once more to teach you about Sony Vegas. So in the past, I've done quite a few Sony Vegas tutorials and you guys seem to really like them. Like, like really like them. And I've been using the software for a while, so I definitely do have a lot of new things to teach you guys, and I myself am still learning. So with that being said, I've gotten a lot better since the last time I made a Sony Vegas tutorial, and now Sony Vegas Pro 19 is released, which it doesn't make a difference, they're the same thing every year. But so if you're a beginner who thinks Sony Vegas just looks way too scary, just like I did when I started, and you just want to learn the basics of making a good YouTube video or just editing whatever you really need to edit, then this video right here is for you. So as an example, I'm going to be using the vlog I made the other day, door dashing, but I'm already at the restaurant. If you haven't seen it, it's hilarious and I put a lot of work into that, so go check it out. So I'm going to start with the most basic thing, which is cutting or splitting. So all you're going to have to do is find the place on the timeline where you want to actually cut it. So say I wanted to cut this particular door dash scene out of the video and, I don't know, upload it as a short or something. I would go to the very beginning of the clip click exactly where I want to cut, press S, so I can just click on the timeline, look, and see, oh, okay, I made the transition right there, so I can just cut that. So usually when editing a video and cutting parts out, you're going to want to obviously delete the part that you just cut out, but in this case, um, I'm trying to cut out this little clip right here, and I don't want the rest of it. So I'm going to go on either side and just click delete on my keyboard, or I'm just going to right click and click delete. And just like that, I have just the DoorDash section of the video cut out. The next thing I'm going to teach you is how to zoom in, which is also fairly simple. There's a few different ways to do it. Uh, just zooming in regularly is that there could not be anything easier. So once again, you're just going to want to find the part that you want to cut, but this time it's not going to be a part that you want to cut out. It's going to be the part that you want to zoom in on. So say if I thought this this beautiful scene right here wasn't zoomed in enough, I can click S and then click S again. So if you're super zoomed out on the clip, it's not going to show the buttons. So you can either click these three dots right here and then click event pan crop, or you can grab the slider right here, just expand it and you can see it pop up right there. So you just click that. And then after that, you just have to make sure that these two are checked right here. So just grab a corner and zoom and pretty much just like that, you can move it around freely say, and uh, yeah, I think that's zoomed in enough. So just like that, Obviously, it's only going to do the zoom to that part because I cut it out and it's only applied to that clip. Now I'm going to teach you what I like to call a time zoom. I was going to call it a slow zoom, but it still can be fast. It's just a zoom that gradually gets to its point or progresses. It doesn't just immediately zoom in. So to do a time zoom, I'm going to want to go on this timeline right here. So this dot right here is whatever zoom you want it to start with. Typically, that's just going to be the standard zoom. And then all you have to do is click another point on the timeline here and then zoom in after you have clicked and make sure that this is selected when you are zooming in. If you watch it now, you can see it go in. But say if I were to drag this point all the way back here and then here, I'll just put this more I'll just put this a little bit more of a zoom so it's a little bit more dramatic. So if I were to put this to the complete other point, then basically you're just telling the program that it has to make the zoom by that point on the timeline. It just has to be completed. So it will adjust it to whatever speed it needs to to complete it at what time you told it to. So if you look like this, you see that it's still a very short scene, but the entire time it was zooming in. On the other hand, if I were to move this so close that it's practically right next to this, you can just see that it... It does it real quick. It's not the same as an immediate. But yeah, you can really play around with that and get the zoom to be the exact right speed you want for the moment. And before we get off the subject of zoom, I have one more type of zoom to teach you. This is a track zoom. So like when I go across here and it follows my face. So say instead at this scene, I want to track my hand, bring the fry and the receipt into my mouth. Once again, I just have to cut the part. So I press S on my keyboard. And for me, I don't have to press S on the other end because I had already cut it for this. And this is pretty much the same process as what I just showed you, except you're going to be moving it to follow it instead. And there's going to be a lot more points. So the amount of motion tracking points you're going to use really just varies on how long the actual clip is and like how fastly the object moves. If it doesn't move that much, then you won't need that many. So basically you're going to be doing the same thing. You go on the bottom, click, and then you get to adjust that frame. So I'll just put my hand right there. And really all you have to do is just keep on clicking. It's going to bring you to that frame. And then once it brings you to that frame, you adjust it where the object is. So if I just keep on going, 
now my hand's starting to come back out and you see right there i just clicked it i did it how i was doing and i completely missed that part so if that happens you're just going to need to go back if the movement's kind of slow and then happens fast you're just going to need to go through the timeline points and make sure that it's tracking it right so for this i'll just have to go in right here get one right there get one right there maybe even go in again and get like an even closer one so if you watch it now you can see it follow and then go into the wow i should have done that for the actual video that was pretty funny the next thing i'm going to be showing you is subtitles which is also super easy everything on this is super easy this is not an advanced tutorial with that being said i've never done an advanced tutorial so if any of you guys are not new beginners or after this you want to step up your editing let me know if you want me to do an advanced one because yeah that's something i've never done subtitling is super easy you just want to make sure you have a track on top of the video track that you already have now so say if i weren't to have this right here i can just go right here right next to it right click and insert video track and now i have another video track on top of it so say i was saying something during this clip and i wanted to subtitle it i would just grab this right here and then drag it up so once it drops this in here you can then adjust it from there honestly i usually just like i keep the plain font if there's a certain font you like or you're just simply not as lazy as me then by all means go for it or say that i wanted to have like a funny visual sound effect i'll just do fry munch so from there you can either just click this to adjust the font size or you can go over here and just scale it down like that and if you go right down here you can change the color i'm a fan of yellow subtitles but um to each their own white black whatever works so after that um i mean this is optional obviously right here you can tell that i need an outline so i'm gonna go right here click outline and i'm just gonna mess with the width a little bit right here once again you can just change the color like that and you can see that it max goes to 10 but if you really want something bigger i can type in 15 as you can see now we have a pretty saucy subtitle and if you want it to end either just grab the end and drag it or you can just cut delete the next thing i'm going to show you is background music which is super easy once again this is all you guys are pros so just have it off to the side somewhere and then all you have to do is drag it and boom it's in here now you can just grab this right here and bring this down and that's how you can adjust the volume get it to a nice background volume one thing people do is they make it way too loud please don't make your background music the only thing we can hear my goal is to just teach this as fast and efficiently as possible so if you think i succeeded in that uh let me know by dropping a like now i'm going to show you how to speed up and slow down a clip so all you have to do is hover over the very end of the clip right here or the very beginning you'll say it says trim event end but if i press control and hold control you can see it now says time stretch so if i grab this and make it longer obviously then it's going to be slow motion but if i were to grab this and make it shorter then it would be sped up next thing i'm going to teach you how to do is like stupid face effects there's one that's pinch slash punch which if i were to just put some pinch in there you can see goddamn do i look beautiful and the other one i use is called spherize and if you put that on there you can kind of see it just you can drag where that center is and it just makes your face big and bulbous and really you can move it and make like a very custom look you can go big chin big nose big brain and to go along with this you might want to do some funny audio effects too here you can do reverb which is a, a great little effect and it just adds kind of a different sound for when you're trying to do a funny clip and then the one to make your voice sound stupid is i'm sure you've heard this everywhere it's called vibrato or vibra i don't know so you just click you just click that little button on the audio right there vibrato add okay and it'll bring you into the settings here pretty much it looks kind of complicated all you have to do is drag that like i don't know a belt right there and then pull that out a little bit i'm recording i was gonna kick it me me when you're mom so you can hear how it's slightly there you can obviously crank it up a lot more it really once again it depends on your personal preference but with that being said that is pretty much all i have to teach you guys today i hope you found this video very helpful i like to think they improve as they go on and i've done quite a few of these tutorials at this point so if this did help you out in any way make sure to either let me know in a comment or drop a like on this video subscriptions are also cool because like literally if you look at my stats 90 percent of the people aren't sub anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this and besides that I'll see you in my next video. Bye!